Have you ever wondered what evolution has done to dragonflies over 300 million years? It has turned them into true predators. Dragonflies, belonging to the order Odonata, have a long evolutionary history dating back hundreds of millions of years. Their ancient ancestors, known as griffinflies, appeared on the scene 300 million years ago. Today, dragonflies are divided into two main suborders, Zygoptera and Anisoptera. These two groups mainly differ in their wings. Zygoptera have two pairs of wings of the same shape, which are folded above the abdomen during rest. Damselflies generally tend to be smaller than their dragonfly counterparts, and their eyes are distinctly separated. Anisoptera, on the other hand, are larger. Their wings are divided into two pairs, with the second pair significantly wider than the first. During rest, they do not fold their wings, but keep them spread out to the sides. Dragonflies are masters of flight in the insect kingdom. Their wings, constructed from a delicate membrane, supported by a complex network of veins, allow them to maneuver rapidly and precisely through the air. Pterostigma is a pigmented patch located near the wing's edge. Its mass is greater than the adjacent wing parts, aiding in gliding by reducing vibrations within the wing after surpassing a certain critical speed. Another essential component in the construction of dragonfly wings is the nodus, which significantly influences the wing's flexibility during flight. Interestingly, dragonflies can move their wings independently, giving them the unique ability for quick turns and stable flight. Unlike most insects, where the wings are an extension of the entire thoracic cage, dragonflies have separate muscles responsible for wing movement. This enables each wing to move at different frequencies, and they can even fly backward by assuming a vertical position in flight, changing the direction of the generated air. The eyes of dragonflies are a true masterpiece of nature, composed of thousands of omatidia, microscopic lenses that collaborate to create a panoramic view of their surroundings, dragonflies have the ability to see in almost 360 degrees. Each of these thousands of omatidia contains light receptors, allowing dragonflies to detect the slightest movements in their environment. This highly sensitive system enables them to quickly respond to potential prey. A midfielder during a match must instinctively predict where the attacker will be to perfectly time the ball pass. Dragonflies also possess this predictive instinct, enhancing their hunting efficiency. And all of this happens in a fraction of a second. We associate dragonflies with majestic views near lakes or ponds. We admire their beautiful colors, sometimes with a metallic sheen. This is due to structural coloring that disrupts reflected visible light. However, most of a dragonfly's life is spent underwater. The dragonfly life cycle comprises two crucial stages, larval and adult. Larvae, living in freshwater, are voracious predators, hunting small insect larvae and other aquatic organisms. It's a stage of intense growth during which dragonflies go through multiple molts, developing their distinctive features. The larval dragonfly catches its prey using a grabbing organ called a mask, which is essentially a modified lower lip that it can shoot towards its prey. After capturing the prey, the larva pulls it into its mouth parts and crushes it using its mandibles and jaws. The larval cycle can last from a few months to several years, depending on the species. The final transformation of the larva into an adult dragonfly occurs through the molting process. The nymph lazily emerges from the water to find a safe place for the ultimate molt. It climbs onto a protruding stem above the water and freezes in stillness. Its thorax and head crack open, giving way to the emergence of the adult dragonfly. Veins fill with hemolymph, causing the wings to expand gradually. Its abdomen lengthens and thickens, and the colors of the dragonfly become more vivid. Before taking flight, it must dry its wings, a process that may take a few hours. During this time, the insect is vulnerable. The adult life of a dragonfly is not long, typically lasting from a few weeks to a few months. During this time, the male is obligated to find a mate. The male transfers his sperm from the primary organ, 
located at the end of the abdomen, to the secondary organ situated on the underside of the second abdominal segment. When the male is ready, they form a circle with the female, resembling the shape of a heart. In damselflies, the male grasps the female by the thorax, and the female bends her abdomen, connecting its tip with the male's secondary organ. In the case of dragonflies, the male seizes the female by the head. Dragonflies can be true travelers, covering distances that can compete with birds. A prime example is the species Pantala flavescens, a common dragonfly found on every continent except Antarctica. A single individual can fly over 3,700 miles. They migrate from India to Africa to avoid the dry season. Have you ever wondered about the hunting efficiency of the fastest land mammals, namely cheetahs? It's approximately 40%. This might seem like a decent success rate, but when compared to dragonflies, cheetahs pale in comparison as dragonflies achieve a hunting success rate of around 95%. This makes them true predators, all thanks to their elaborate wings, which enable them to operate with great precision and their ability to predict the position of their prey. Often the male does not stray far from the female, accompanying her during egg-laying. Females use an ovipositor to insert eggs into plant tissue, although some species lay eggs in the air. In this way, the dragonfly life cycle comes full circle. Undoubtedly, it is a beautiful and fascinating inhabitant of our planet that can be observed practically worldwide.